Welcome back to Tech Truck Channel. I'm Brian. Well, what, what are we doing? Well, the, well, we're reviewing this truck. <laughs> it's another Toyota Off-Roader. Yes. I know you're happy. It's a 1993 Toyota 4Runner, and this thing is, as you can tell, rad as hell. And I will explain to you why we are reviewing this truck right now because we're usually a new truck channel. Sam, come on in. This is Sam. This is his 4Runner. And yeah, hey, Sam. The reason why we're featuring this truck is for multiple reasons. One, we think you guys will like it because we like it, but also because I'm going to hold Sam accountable before what he says he's doing to this. So this is really a before review, and we're going to do an after when what is done. All right. So the plan is we're going to try and fit a V8 in here. Okay. Put in a 1UZ from a 1995 LS400. So, Lexus heart going into it. Is that a 4 liter V8? So it's the 4.0, the 4 liter V8. Okay. What is it now? All right. So in here, we have the 3VZE, the 3 liter V6, paired with a four-speed automatic transmission. Okay. And that's about it. We have power steering, that doesn't work. Okay. AC, that also doesn't work. Okay, all right. And that's it. And that's it. I will say though, this engine looks pretty stuffed in here. Um, how the heck are you gonna get a V8 in here? What's your plan? Like, how's like, how, what do you have to do to get a V8 in here? So, I mean. And not an LS, I mean a, a, a J-Spec of the same family style V8. Yeah, okay. so we're just gonna rip this piece of junk out. Okay. We're gonna buy some motor mounts from Northwest Toys. They're awesome. And then all well, it so is, far, it, it so fits far. in here. That's. It just fits in It here. just fits. Okay, so what about clearances? So I think you have to raise the body some, is that right? Yeah, so we're doing a one inch body lift. Um, we have to go to a smaller radiator, a thinner radiator, try to fit a three core. Okay. And then we're gonna have to do an electric fan setup. And then after that, everything else basically okay. fits. So, so we show, have- Show people here, Greg. So this has a clutch fan style right here. The thing is actually missing a uh, shroud, shroud. Shroud, yep. But um, you don't have AC, so it never reads anyways. But to gain more space vertically uh, or longitudinally, because there's six Vs here, we want five, eight Vs. Um, that's what you're doing. So that's the plan. And what power does it make now? Or well, in 1993? So brand new, this made 150 horsepower oh, and yeah. 174 pound feet of torque. Something like that. Okay. And then what's the new motor going to make? It makes brand new. It was 254 horsepower. I'm not sure about the torque. You have to check like, me on that. I think one. it's like 290. We'll put it on the screen. Yeah. I think it was like 290 ish. Okay. So the good news is you're going to add a hundred horsepower to this. And I'll be honest, this thing is slow as hell. Yeah. We've like, I'm not trying to like sugarcoat for Sam. This thing sucks if you care about speed, but yeah. everything else is awesome, Matt. And it's got a lot of charm. The V8 is not going to make it fast. It's going to make it acceptable in today's standards, which is a huge improvement. So the good news is you're also going to get a, an upgraded transmission. Yep. So a higher torque rated four speed from the LS. Mm -hmm. And how are you going to adapt the all wheel drive? So how's that the four wheel drive stuff all going to work? So four runners actually have the same transmission. So all we have to do is kind of trim down the output shaft on the transmission. And then the T100 transfer case bolts right up to that transmission. So it's a little bit custom there, but nothing that's too hard and okay. consuming. So it's adaptable with factory parts. Exactly. That's the coolest thing about this. Okay, I like that a lot. Anything else you're having to do? We haven't talked about axles. We don't know about torque ratings for that. Um, as, I'm just not going to rip it as much okay. and hope that okay. I don't break anything. We're, right? we're just going to so. do this and see what happens. <laughs> Well, being towed, it's probably fine. All right, now let's hand it back to Craig. We're gonna do our normal, like, look over this thing and then do a driving test and 060 so you guys see what the before is. And then in a, hopefully in a couple months, a couple months, we'll do it with a V8. All right, starting with the exterior, Craig, let's just get into it. This has something that people like to call patina. That means the sun has kissed it so beautifully and has given it not warts, but it's given it character. There's a lot of vehicles like that, that it's actually a thing now and it's what makes them so rad. I think what makes this thing work really cool is that it is so original despite its patina, including this vinyl graphic that is kind of walking away, but it's super cool. And I think Sam will hopefully replace one day. Coming down wheels and tires. These look just like an American Racing Atlaw 2 wheel, which looks super period correct. It's got a little bit of poke coming out, but more importantly, he's got the meats on it. Milestar Patagonia MTO2s, and I'm surprised at how quiet they are. And we've done some wheeling with this in, in the past, and they are, dude, these are great. I like these a lot, and they're a lot cheaper than something like a KO2. Maybe not quite as quiet, but a lot closer than you think they are. Um, I can see he has new shocks down there. Good job, Sam. Needed that in the last trip it went on. Um, and then what's kind of cool about this is it doesn't have a roof rack and it has like this slick top look. I kind of love that. I think it's kind of cool. Hey, look at that window. It looks uh, similar to the 2025. Oh, it looks like the, the sixth gen that's going to come out. So actually, no, legitimately, the sixth gen has this art glass and Toyota's very proud that they're hearkening back to the second gen. I do like that a lot. Out back, we have had this thing on some gnarly rocks. Sam, what'd you pay for this? 2,000 bucks. I've been so concerned about this breaking, this getting pancaked, and this getting ripped off. And we've found what happens when you're coming off an obstacle, usually it barely kisses this, and it will flex. 
And then it catches this bumper, which will move around like it's on like a spaghetti string and come back to form every time. It's basically a rock slider from the factory. Like it just freaking <laughs> works. It's kind of wild. It just gets it done. More importantly, it's kind of it. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, I don't know about you, Craig, but that was sick. <laughs> I love that. More cars need exhaust leaks. <laughs> I can smell it, it's great. Uh, that's factory exhaust with some holes in it. Craig, let's check out the interior. All right, Brian, let's check out the interior of the second gen 4Runner. You'll notice there's, there's no handle. You can't, you can't open yeah. this, Brian. That's because this window goes down and it still works. Because it's Toyota. Look at that. Okay, so you roll it down. All right. Things are good. Now look, look at this, Brian. You can access all your gear. You can grab it, your little whatever uh, air compressor, yep, whatever it yep, is you yep. got, and then you can open it from here with the oh, unlock it, then open it. And look at this, you Dude. got a tailgate. I like it, bravo, slow clap, slow clap. Yeah, Let's go. I mean, look, new forerunners do still have the window that goes down. They do not have, but the they do though. not have the tailgate. So this is a big deal. Yeah, that is a really big deal. Look, this is also good for overlanding. We've seen it in person. Yep. It works. Gets and, done and uh, gets the job done. No third row here, but that's okay. Let's check out the second row. All right, get in the second row, Brian. You get a quasi padded door seal. I like that a lot. You get a door yeah. pull and no storage. This is a simple door card also, and it works. It's incredibly flat because it's only that big of a door. Keeps the weight down. Get in and Brian, look at this wonderful patina. Look at the actually not, actually not that much patina. No, That's the thing. This is incredible. This is incredibly durable fabric. Hey, you see this? That's what the new Land Cruiser has. That's exactly like where I was heading. Yes, okay, the Land Cruiser is uh, definitely copying some of that. And look, I miss this just simple fabric that's just durable and holds up to kids and yeah. life and abuse and all that. You do get rear heat. There's a floor, there's a fan on the floor like it's oh, your heat, cool. similar to the Land Cruisers of the day. And Brian, um, see if you fit. Oh gosh, I'm afraid of this. I'm gonna go, ah. I've never been back here before. Okay, actually not that bad, although there's no room for, well, yeah, okay. for okay. legs. Okay, there's no leg room, I'll give you that, yeah. but headroom, not the worst. You've been in modern vehicles as bad. There are modern pickup trucks that are worse than this in headroom. Ooh, very good, to the front. Oh. Ah. Yeah, it's still tight. Okay. All right. All right, Brian, let's check out the door. You'll notice first off the window's down because that's how the AC works in this. Right, 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 right. You get a padded door seal and a nice door pull. And Brian, you notice those power windows and yeah. locks that still work. Sam, yeah. have you fixed those at all? Nope, they're, they just work. they're the same, yeah. Yeah, so uh, they still work. Also, real quick, where did you get this truck? Oh, I pulled this out of some guy's farm. It was in West Texas, it, had, it was full of dust. He left the windows down. Yeah. And then I got into it, cleaned it out, and. Here we are. So with all that dust, it still looks this good when you're done with it. So it looks this good. Check the VIN here, Brian. You'll see it uh, starts with a J. That means it's a J spec. Yep. And that's probably one of the reasons everything still works in here, to be honest with you. All right, um, you get the traditional look. If you've been in a T100 or a Tacoma or a 4Runner of this era, these gauges all look really similar and you get the, the handle for the e-brake. I love that. That's super cool. And we do get part-time four-wheel drive here, which I like because it's not all times. You can actually be just two-wheel drive. You can do a one-wheelie peely if on you a day like power. this. If you had enough power, you could, yeah. No, even on a, well, on a day like this, you can. You got enough power for that. Oh, okay. And then you can go four when high, wet, four low, of course, and everything still works. I've actually used this. It, it's, it's wonderful. I oh, don't mind that. All right, look at these tradi this traditional gauge cluster. This works. I oh. love the way the needles kind of float and then they uh, indicate where they need to, need to be. Well, except one of these doesn't indicate all the time. It's lazy as That's all. okay. It's 209,000 miles and just about everything still works. The gauges all work. We do have an aftermarket stereo in here, but you know what? That's just an upgrade. Brian, enough of all that. Let's see how fast Let's this is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Has the check engine light came on? Not yet. All right, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Over the 93 second gen 4Runner 3 liter V6 Fury. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, time to beat is 13.9. That's what we got in the 97 Land Cruiser. Oh, oh, it beat it. Well, when this thing was new in stock, it was 13.1 from Motor Week. It's got a chance. Hit it. Okay. Oh, got a little hop, bunny hop on power. The We're in power mode. Two wheel drive. Mode. Yep. Shifts at 4750 RPM at full throttle. Okay. We're doing an indicated 40 miles an hour. 42, 44, 45, 50 according to the gauge. 52, 5100 RPM. Okay, we got it, we got it. Woo! Zero to 60 in 20, 20 seconds. 
Yikes. With me in the car, though. Okay. Fifth run. We've done some hot laps. We have. Yep. It has run. not overheated, which is good. It has not overheated. Yeah, not too hot. Yeah. Um, what's the? What did you get without me and on a fresher run? 16.45 was the best I got out of it. Ooh. Yeah. Um, now, keep in mind, it has, I think, 33-inch tires on it. Yeah, it's not helping. And it's old as hell. There's, that's true. Yeah. 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 Um, um, okay. That, that's it. Well, I mean, that's what, look, that's what second-gen 4 runners are. Yeah, of course. Ron, that's also why people that buy these think about doing engine swaps. Which is why we are doing this review in the first place, is Correct. to give you before. So, 1645 is where he started. I hope he lands in the 12s when it's done with the V8. Yes. That's my goal. Um, all that being said, ride and drive. It has new shocks. Thank gosh. And it's made a big difference. It's made a huge difference because prior to you, it was, I hate to tell us the Sam, I know they'll watch this, borderline unsafe for the roads. Well, I would call it more entertaining. Oh, it was entertaining. Look, we took this thing all the way to the Ozarks. Yes. With a broken lower ball joint. You, you could see it. And we, get to, we found it on the trail and then drove it home that way. Yeah, it was fun. Dead shocks and the power screen doesn't work and it pulls to the right continuously. Uh, a little bit. But man, it's so cool. It is the coolest freaking thing. Some would say it's in sport mode. Well, yeah, you're engaged the entire time. Yeah, oh, you're, you're paying attention. Actually, in all fairness, the shocks ride, it actually rides really well. So let's get all the jokes out of the way. Yeah. The ride quality is good. It's the right balance for trail use and also just on-road comfort. And look, this is what where Toyota made their name in the States. Yeah. Vehicles like this. Absolutely. Super reliable, not too big, compact, everything hold, kind of holds up. Right. This is why people bought these. This is why people fell in love with Toyota. This is why the brand Toyota today is, is what, what it is. is. Yes. Show me a volume and community of Blazers and Bronco 2s that are still hanging out. Yeah, they, they don't exist. Yeah. They just, not like this. Not in use and on trail and reliably. Right. That's what this thing does. Big props to Toyota. Exactly. And big props to Sam on doing this swap. I can't wait to see it come to its fruition and sound like a V8. Exactly. Looking forward to it. With that, thanks for watching. Be sure to stay tuned. We will get the swap update here at oh, some point. This fall. This fall. Yeah. It's going to take a minute, but uh, it's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see it. Thanks see for watching.